just some of the biggest differentiators between being part of the captive space and coming over to the independent channel. So can you share with us like the first thing that comes to your mind? What is the greatest blessing of being an independent? Well, uh, by far, it's access to a lot of really amazing insurance companies um, that give us the flexibility to compete um, for great policies, great pricing, um, and allow us to really shine and do right by the client. Um, I was at about year four as a captive agent, and every year, you know, my mom would get uh, her rate increases, her renewals. And it got to a point at, you know, four or five years where she's like, Jamie, I can't afford to continue yeah. to do business with you. Yeah. And um, at some point you have to let your mom go, you know, and that's really, really unfortunate if you have to sit there and look, yeah. and go, my mom doesn't even want to be with me anymore <laughs> because she simply can't afford to do it. And right. I didn't have any other alternative for her. I had nowhere else that I could really put her. So for us, the biggest blessing, and I think really realizing that when people want to do business with you, they want to do business with you um, and having the flexibility then to be competitive in, in the insurance space um, a, a lot more than I was previously. Yeah. 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 You, you know, one of the things that we hear often from captive agents is that it's really hard to do what is in the best interest for the prospect or the customer, because it's almost like you have to lie to them, right? Like to try to keep them. Yeah, I know, but I know we're going up 60%, but when but I'm the best. Reality... <laughs> yeah, I have the best product and I'm the best before. person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's difficult. It's a difficult challenge for sure.